Yo, what's good guys? Nightwing2303, and today we're going on a nerd hunt. Actually, it's a mini nerd hunt, so, you know, don't get your hopes up. We're just going to Toys R Us, but I gotta get my Jones out because I heard that there might be some dope up there, so let's go take a look. Today on feet, by the way, Jake Ross over 2.5 low. Let's get it. What y'all know about story of the year, man? Tell me. Tell me. Till the day I die. So they didn't have anything. I ended up coming back home. Was a little bit salty. You mad, bro? You must be mad. What you mad? <laughs> you mad? But it's all good because I'm gonna go out again. I mean, after all, it wouldn't be a nerd hunt if it was easy, right? Let's go. Yo, what's good, guys? Nightwing two three zero three. Welcome back to the very first nerd hunt. So as you can see, first trip definitely wasn't successful. And I went out again hoping that I would have like a better nerd excursion or whatever you want to call it. And I totally did. Now these are the newest line of the Legacy series. This actually came out a long time ago. This is the Falcon Zord. And I pass on this guy every time I saw him because this one wasn't available. I don't know what their thinking was, but they put out the Megazord, the Dragon Zord, then the black and gold versions of each, the Thunder Megazord, and then this guy. And I was like, dude, Ninja Megazord? Where is he? But they finally released this guy and also they have a Legacy helmet. And it's the Red Ranger helmet. They did not have that yet. They told me to come back next week. So so we might see another one, who knows. But anyways, like I was saying, I was waiting to grab uh, the Falcon Zord for me to grab the Ninja Zord because there's no point in having one without the other. You know what I'm saying? This guy here, when I was a kid, my brother actually had the original one, but we never had this guy right here. So I'm excited to see what this new one's all about. And I'm really excited to see this because I've never owned one and I'm just like, <laughs> Instructions? Well, that wasn't a very good one. Oh, dang, you do gotta put stuff together? That's how it comes in the box. I can already tell that it's way more articulated than the original. It also feels a lot smaller than the original, too. I remember the original being pretty big. <gasps> That's what she said? Come on, guys. This is nerd shit. We're trying to keep things PG here. Oh, cool. Feet are very articulated, which is really dope. Original definitely was not like that. Ankle joints and all that kind of good stuff. Very cool. The tail moves just like the original. Come on, you f***ing dumb camera. The original only moved these. They did not do these. And the head moves as well as the mouth. Now let's open this bad boy up. Look at how cool that packaging is, boy. Mm, that looks good. More instructions, I see. A lot more instructions, jeez. Just wing it. Here's the contents of the package. Ape swords, very dope for the ape zord. Sick, <laughs> this is cool. Fully posable, very articulated. Got the swords in the hand. They also got these little pegs on here so you can stick them on his back as well. You know, ninja style, super sweet. Got the tiny little crane zord, wings, little top thingy, head, articulated. Kind of reminds me of origami. Oh, and then there is the head right there. Very cool. Got the wolf, posable legs front and back, posable tail, mouth moves, rawr. Got this big old blocky bear that is the uh, the body that moves. I don't know how to take this thing apart. Maybe I should have read the instructions. Nah. Oh, there we go. Nailed it. This is sick, man. What is this? And then my favorite sword is this one right here. This is the frog. And I just think that this one was so cool, man. This movie, by the way, this movie when I was a kid, like, it was the coolest thing ever because they made the TV show, but better. You know what I mean? Like, the costumes were awesome. The music choice was awesome. I just really liked the, the, the original power. Rangers movie. I thought it was crazy that they, uh, I think in the show they had just gotten the Thunder Zords, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden the movie came out and they were like on a quest to get new Zords with new power and I was like, yo, what the hell? This is crazy, dude. <laughs> this thing is weird. So I guess uh, the only thing left to do is put them all together. Mm -hmm. How did this go?
Oh man, this thing is dope. What? <laughs> That's sick. Peep this guy, dude. Look at this, his head moves up and down. Like what the heck? Arms, and then you can you can pull this guy out, and it has joints in mean, the legs. Look at this thing. This thing's crazy. It's got knees. Remember when Ivan Ooze got kicked in the nuts like that? I do. And then take the Falcon Zord. That's sick, dude. The bear's little black things right there on its feet hook into the side things like that. Like that's all it does. It just slides right in. That's super sick. And then you have the Super Falcon Megazord. Super Falcon Ninja Megazord. I'm sorry. This is too cool for school, man. This is super dope. This is gonna look so nice right back here next to my movie figures. We got the classic stuff over here and then you got the movie stuff over there. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Well, that takes care of the nerd hunt. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for coming along. These guys right here, this uh, Ninja Megazord is popping up at your local Toys R Us. So go ahead and check uh, Toys R Us.com. See if they're available in your area if you are interested. I think it was 99 bucks and then the Falcon Zord was like another 50 or 60. And do not pay resale prices for these things because when I was at my local Toys R Us, they were not only like unboxing all of these things to put on the shelves, but there was like 50 boxes of these things. Like, and I think there's like four or five of these per one box so there's plenty of these things that go around don't waste your money you know paying over retail because they're everywhere and that will take care of it thank you guys for watching thanks for all your support i'm gonna go play with my new toy so until next time guys have a good one What's going on guys? It's Jim from Weartesters.com and Adidas has officially unveiled James Harden's first signature sneaker and alongside giving us our most detailed look at the Harden Volume 1, they also dropped a ton of tech specs. Here's what we found most interesting. The outsole- Instagram just kind of giving you guys a flavor of what I like as far as colorways and things like that. And so that's what I did with these guys, but this was a long time ago when they first went on my Adidas and I did kind of like a Wear testers ish colorway similar to the uh, Wear testers brand black collaboration. And then when we went to the level three event in Vegas, they let us play with the My Adidas thing. And I didn't know if they were going to actually send them or not. Just